All right, that was a lovely little commercial for Match Arena. Or wait, was that Match Arena? No. SC2 stats, that's right, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, go and give them a check out if you want to get even more StarCraft information. That's a good place to get it. All right, we will, we will be hopping into game number four here in just a moment in this exciting series between Penguin and Kozan. Let's take it over to our casters. I believe they're ready. Odyssey, ladder, dish. Zerg, aggressive, cheesy, Terran. Standard to a fault. Kid, where does it go from here, man? Well, th this map in particular, it, it has a lot of different you can do. It has gold bases. It has a lot of bases that the Zerg player can take uh, fairly quickly. But on the other hand, you can see some really aggressive plays. So we're just going to mm -hmm. have to see what the openings are. Yeah, man. Well, I do want to give a shout out to the first person I've noticed in chat talking. Only one Shawshank. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We um, we've got a potential best of seven here. Currently, the score is two one Terran lead. But give it up for these players in the chat. If you want to see seven games, let us know there, and uh, we'll pass your word along to the uh, to the players. Be like, yo, yeah, yeah, we want seven games, man. Or Twitter. Yeah, no, go, go we want up seven games. On SC2 at Twitter. Yeah, Polygon SC2 at Twitter, also a great way to get in contact uh, with both us as well as the players. Um, Cy Penguin is uh, Penguin's Twitter as well. Kozan, we couldn't find one for him, but you can contact his team, Rival Gaming Pro, and be like, yo, Kozan, it's Twitter. Yeah, that'll work. So I, anyway. I think we should hop right into this game. I think right. that, Okay, uh, sure. Yep, uh, Penguin right. did... Uh, well, I just want to quickly state before we even redu uh, introduce the players that Penguin did open up that uh, 17 pool, so he may be trying to deny the expansion from Kozan. But uh, in the mm -hmm. upper right-hand corner, we have our purple Zerg player who is opening up pool first, and that is Penguin. Yeah, and in the bottom right, because, uh, well, I guess it would be the bottom left if uh, Penguin's on the top right, like you said, but... Penguins well, in the I top guess I left. Got and... that backwards then. I don't yeah. have to talk about the 17 pull. <laughs> yep, 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 yeah. I got all, all excited right. there. <laughs> yeah, dude, 17 pulls get me excited too, man. And in fact, oh, never mind. You guys don't want to know about that. Anyways, here on the bottom right hand side, playing for Team Arrival Gaming, he is our green Terran buddy. He's Kozan. And it looks like Penguin, he made two links. He's kind of skating around the map in case we have the Reaper opening. He is going to try. No, oh, he's keeping the Reaper home, so it doesn't look like he's going to be able to deny that expansion. Yeah, that's actually a really big move there. But by keeping it home, he is able to respond to this kind of like one base threat that Penguin has thrown at him. But Penguin, like, there's no threat here. He just went for a fast pull and made a queen. Yeah, I don't necessarily know as he was threatening. I think he was just going to try and deny that expansion, but I think Kozan knows his openings on this map, so he was prepared to keep that Reaper home, and he wanted to get his expansion down. Yeah, yeah, so that's a, that's 100% fair. Um, anyways, uh, Lair Tech are going to be on the way. We've got another gas on the way for Pan. And uh, we've also got a Starport on the way for Kozan, so... 1-1-1 one, one, one opener, we've seen that from Kozan pretty much every game. Gives a lot of versatility to the Terran. They can pretty much go into anything from there without being locked into a hard path like 2-1-1. One, one. Um, are there any other reasons you think Kozan's maybe favoring 1-1-1 one, one, one against Penguin? Well, it's hard to tell with the, with the Hylians. I'd like to see him maybe switch it up just a little bit, maybe going mm -hmm. to Hylian Banshee. Uh, but it looks like he's going to go into the bio with the Hellions. So, but I'm really curious as to the, what, are, let's see what we have. Oh, we have a Roach Warren going down from Penguin. And that's why he took the early lair and, mm -hmm. uh, he actually put it in his natural. So the Reaper was not able to scout that. Yeah. Hmm. He doesn't have an Evo chamber down. So with the lair, he may be just going Roach speed. Hmm. So we've got a, a prediction in the chat. Someone predicts seven games of Marines and Bane. I think that's a, I think that's a possibility here. 
Oh, I think it could definitely go seven games. Oh, we have a Nidus coming down from the mm -hmm. third player Penguin. He's going to throw some roaches in there. And uh, I bet this is, well, I don't know. There's a Viking coming out. So if he could if he could get that over, this really is, is an odd game because they're kind of countering each other. Yeah, there's definitely mind games on here. These players know each other very well. They play a lot at Cheese Adelphia. I know uh, Cheese 5 happened recently. Uh, both players had a lot of uh, photos up in there. You can see them kind of hang out. They know each other. And, uh, yeah, they know each, they know each other. They know each other. I didn't right? mean to interrupt you there. I just wanted to show that the Nidus is going down into the That's main about base. He queens. And he has roaches going down. He's putting down a creep tumor. Mm hmm. Because they know each other, Penguin knows that uh, Kozan doesn't really check his edges that well. He's more of like a forward base push. So little things like this always uh, take major advantage of Kozan, and that is going to be a stem snipe, dude. There is no stem back on the field. No, there isn't, and I think you mentioned earlier that it's standard to a fault, so mm -hmm. this may be why Penguin decided to go that early roaches and into that Nidus. I think we might have forgot to put the WCS uh, um, mod on, because it should have actually said one minute. Oh well. Anyways, Cyclone's actually coming on. This is gonna repel a lot of these roaches. Will he choose to come through and try to snipe this? Yeah, he's actually gonna try and fight this rather than go home. Queens are on the field, so you can use some transfuses here. But uh, he's moving away from the Nidus, which is interesting. And there's some units still in that Nidus. He could he could pull them out. Yeah, I, I think it's just gonna be a little bit too much here. Mm -hmm. the, the amount that he. Uh... He denied the mining from Kozan. He is going to lose all of his roaches. Mm -hmm. So let's talk damage. Count, the worker counts 34 to 12. Yeah, so damage assessment, very much so worth it. Not only did he completely obliterate the worker count, how he canceled stim. I cannot underscore that enough. That's correct, and he is um, also putting down another Nidus mm -hmm. toward the natural of Kozan, but he's also mm -hmm. going into a spire. Mm hmm. Yeah. Basically, going into the Spire gives him the next stage in this attack, but by throwing Nidus is pretty much haphazardly across the map, he's going to give his ground army the ability to uh, to respond to different situations. This particular situation is the barrel down the front that uh, goes in expected initially. Yeah, that's correct, and I don't I don't think with the Roaches and the Queens that are coming across the map and with the Spire, I, I think mm -hmm. this is going to be game over. I think we're going to be tied up 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, it's very possible. Right now, there's a 19 supply of damage as far as army supply is concerned in Penguin's favor. Yeah, and, and the, the worker count, I mean, he's up 41 to 15, so the mm -hmm. uh, disparity in the army count is, is just going to grow. Yeah, but mules, man, mules. Yeah, I think it's a little a little late for the mule time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, mule time ball. Um, He's right. got a Yudas coming out, so there's just not going to be anything that he's going to be able to do as far as taking out the Roaches and the Mutilus. you still got to admire the Tanaka. He is not happy. No, he's, no, he's not going to give up, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, if someone one base you, how would you feel? You probably don't know what I, how I would feel in this game. And especially on, on uh, stream, I probably wouldn't want to tell you that. <laughs> exactly, man. I think uh, I think our audience gets the point. Uh -huh. Anyways, there's a Nidus inside of uh, inside of Penguin or uh, Kozan's main Penguin uh, about to take advantage of these SCVs, like they're still in school. And I think as soon as he sees the Mutus, he's gonna go ahead. And he'll, he'll have to get out. Yeah, missile turrets just not really a possibility. And the funny part is. Even if he had the money for it, there's creep where he would want the missile turret. So what the hell is he supposed to do? <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> there is creep all the way to his middle line. There's the beauty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Liberators were on the field. Stem, um, the, uh, unstem the Marines rather. Uh, actually, going to be able to repel those uh, the mutilists. And there's a little drop over here on the third. So Kozan fighting inch by inch to get back into this. Yeah, he's definitely not going to come up on this game. Uh, he was able to deny the third mm -hmm. base from Penguin, but uh, mm -hmm. we still have that huge disparity in the worker count. Yeah. Bio's very scrappy, though. And ro roaches are, are good, but... Ooh, ooh, he can't lose this. He can't... Ah, oh, he lost it. But roaches are bloated supply, man. 
So like we see the 66 to 26, but it's roaches, right? Yeah, I, it's roaches, but I I don't know. I just really have a hard time thinking um, that Cozan's going to be able to come back from that uh, right the worker reduction he has, and we see Penguin trying to get his third base up again. Mm-hmm. So, yep, Viking getting sniped here. SCVs pulled off the line. Even more mining time lost. SCVs going to get caught. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna run the SCVs away. The mules are going to be forced to flock out, but. He lost a lot of mining time and he didn't have that many workers to begin with so no and we do have upgrades coming in for penguin and we have more roaches being made mm -hmm. third base coming down mm -hmm. i think it's gonna be tough from here yeah well, we've been saying that for a few minutes now so we might as well just get <laughs> back into casting up, yep yep that we, we we pretty much know that's going to be true now interestingly um hmm we have like a roach pot inside that that group okay cool um all right so plus one flying attack on the way plus one missile attack plus one carapace um these these players are doing doing a pretty darn good job yes they are the, we have 142 100 or excuse me 146 to a 64 supply deficit yeah And now that we're about to uh, have the upgrades finished, we're moving across the map with the roaches, and he has a total of 33 roaches and nine mutilists. Yeah, and these marines chasing um, quite a bit of the the mutilists right out of that main. There. Um, dude, I hate to say it, but Kozan might be able to hold this as long as he, uh, he keeps some kind of income. Like his mains mining out, his natural will mine out soon. I don't think Penguin... Oh, maybe. Maybe this is a lot of roaches. No, he might I have think a number of roaches. His upgrade's finished. He was just waiting for that timing tap for when his yeah. roach is finished. Yeah, that, that's fair. And the Mutilus is coming in on top of that, so the roach is going to be absorbing a lot of the damage of the Mutilus. Have been cleared off of the field. Roach is going to be forcing, barreling up that ramp. There's not a lot of AoE damage, and Kozan going to be forced to tap out. That is going to be GG. It is going to be tying up 2-2 two, two right now. Both of these players playing an amazing game. Kozen not wanting to give it up, extending that game. Maybe even an additional seven minutes because that initial Nidus arrived at 5.15. 12 minutes. Seven agonizing minutes of Absolutely. watching Kozen slow death. That was crazy. Sweet. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we um are going to be going... To, uh, to a commercial break here in just a moment. Um, before we do that, kid, um, thoughts on that game? What could what could Kozen have done different? Is that just a map awareness issue? I don't know if it was map awareness. I just think it was a really great play by Penguin. Uh, caught him off guard with the Nidus and the early Roaches, and from there, I think it was just there wasn't the ability to come back. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.